Moses, Prince of Egypt Moses grew up as a prince in Egypt. One day he watched his people, the Hebrews, being forced to work hard as slaves by the Egyptians. He was upset at the way his people were being treated. When he saw one of the Hebrews being badly treated by an Egyptian, he looked around to check no one was watching. Then Moses attacked the Egyptian, killing him. He buried the dead man's body in the sand. The next day he saw two Hebrews fighting and went across to stop them. Why are you hitting a fellow Hebrew, he asked. Who made you ro ruler over us, came the reply. Are you going to kill us like you killed the Egyptian yesterday? Moses was afraid. People knew he had murdered an Egyptian. When Pharaoh went out, he gave orders that Moses should be killed. But Moses ran away, left the country, and hid in the faraway wilderness of Midian. Moses rested by a well. The seven daughters of a local priest of Midian came to draw water from the well for their father's flock. But some shepherds arrived and pushed the women away so they could get water for their flocks first. But Moses got up came to their rescue and watered their flocks. When the girls returned to their father Jethro, he asked why they were back so soon. They explained how an Egyptian had helped them. Invite him for something to eat, Jethro told his daughters. Moses was not only invited to the meal, but to stay with the family. Moses agreed and later married Zipporah, one of Jethro's daughters. They had a son who Moses named Gershon. It meant, I have become a foreigner in a foreign land. Sometime later, Pharaoh died and a new Pharaoh came to rule. The Hebrew slaves cried out to God to rescue them. God heard their cries for help and remembered his promises to his people. He had a plan to rescue them and Moses, who was looking after the sheep in the wilderness, was part of that plan.